What's going on, TikTok? Yours truly, Johnny Belize. What's the matter, Mace? She wants to listen to the dogs howl. What do you want? You want me to put Milo and Foles on for you? She doesn't know what she wants. So what's going on? This is Open Conversation Friday. Where we can discuss anything. As long as it ain't bannable. That's Lou. You want to hide everybody, Lou? Lou's mad because her mommy just wanted to go pick up Caden. Don't search Ukraine. Salute on TikTok. They're doing WW. I, I don't even know what, what you're trying to say there, dude. Anyway, welcome to Open Conversation Friday. I hope everybody has a great weekend because I will be working. What's going on, Sonny Baby? Austin 420, old German salutes. Still don't know what you're talking about. So, uh, yeah, we was uh, watching some YouTube here, as you can see. And for all you guys that are just coming on to my channel, you haven't seen me before, know who the hell I am. Johnny Belize, last name is because in three years we retire to Central America. A.K.A. Belize, and we just cannot wait. It is going to be an absolutely amazing time. The only thing I do want to say is, I think we've watched every YouTube video on Belize. I wish more people would do more videos. Because I'm getting tired of seeing the same old stuff. Anyway, yeah, just chilling out, dude. Mrs. Belize wants to go pick our son up from school. I got about an hour and a half before I get ready for work. In a couple days on Monday, I go in for my two-year colonoscopy to make sure I'm still cancer-free. So I'm kind of excited about nervous and excited at the same time. Just got my prep from the doctors. Am I an Eagles fan? Yes, I am. Um, so I'll be doing my prep. Ah, uh, Phillies fan too, but they didn't fare too well yesterday. Would you rather watch a tree grow or a Negro? Jace, he is a comedian. I love your hair. Do you have erectile dysfunction? How about that? Boy, the comments. You got to love the comments, boy. You would think that somebody would come on and have intelligent conversation. Um, Uh-oh, Hayden's a Cowboys fan. So don't mind me on here because uh, people who don't ask intelligent questions, they just get blocked. We don't got time for stupid yeah, I did the colonoscopy. The colonoscopy is uh, Monday, so hopefully everything goes well. What's up, Doc? In the house. Howdy, hey, how's your day? Just chilling out. Um, just going over some more Belize videos. I did a, uh, if you guys go and check my other videos, um, you know, some of you guys may know, I saw, I, is that the one you put up, Doc? I was, I was just watching some, uh, one of your videos. Um, I did a, 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 some of you guys know I do paranormal investigations and I put up the Hornet Shanley. So you'll see a little bit of a, um, clip of a, a paranormal investigation. All right. I'm going to have to go check it out then. I didn't, I didn't see that. I didn't catch that video yet. But does a col a colon no, uh, you know why I don't a colonoscopy don't hurt if you're sleeping because uh I don't I don't like the, someone digging up my shit my um my little hole there and, and, and being awake. I just find it kind of find that a little weird. So I tell the doctors to knock me out. Good thing is I have a female doctor. My cousin always says, um 
if you had a male doctor who does colonoscopies, if he if you wake up and he's smiling, there might have been an issue. What's up, Lou? You gonna say hi to everybody? Let me get kisses. All right, all right. We're trying to do something here, and you can't be licking on my face like that. People are gonna get jealous. I did not watch that Skinwalker Ranch because, um, again, you like you were mentioning. Look, I got the dog on my lap. I got the cat sitting here. Holy cow! I feel like Noah's Ark. I will not watch the Skinwalker Ranch because um, I I knew how to do the paranormal stuff. So I'm not. I, nah, I just I don't have a desire to do it. I do not have the desire to watch it. Ah, my question is: Did anybody go to Johnny Belize on my profile, and did anybody subscribe to my YouTube channel? That's what I'm asking. Which what's a, what's a good show, Doc? Are you talking about the show that she was just mentioning? The Skimwalker Ranch, whatever that is. No, Doc, I'm gonna bring you on. Doc, get on here, will you? Get on the show, will you? Jump on here with me. Sent you an invite. My man Doc in the house. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, Doc Holiday. What's up, kid? Hey, yo, what's happening, bro? What did you watch, the Skinwalker thing? Yeah, dude, it it's actually a really good show, man. Um, there's not, like, ghost or nothing like that, but they go over, like, they, they, they constantly film the whole property 24 hours a day, and, the, like, they see lights, they see stuff coming in and out, um... You know, they have the cattle mut uh, mutilations. I mean, there's so much stuff that they go in and, like, dig underground. And whenever they're digging, like, it messes up all their equipment, stuff like that, dude. So, I say it's a, it's a fun show to watch, for sure. All right. If you if you second that, I, I'll, I'll give it a whirl. Yeah, it's not, it's not like your ghost, uh, you know, paranormal anything. But it is a scientific outlook on ufos right and oh, so, oh ufos yeah they do ufos um a lot of it they're learning is the uh the stuff in the ground like the different metals and stuff are right. making their, so it's it's not paranormal no it's, it's more ufo stuff yeah they so when, when you do paranormal investigations you you may know you, you may know the material. Oh, lime, I think it's limestone. They say limestone, if I'm not mistaken, has a a, a tendency to uh, hold energy. Yeah, Is that, yeah. So, but there's well, a. And I forgot what the metal was, but they actually found a metal. It's more. It's one of the most precious metals, but it comes from space. Oh wow! Like the only way it gets here is through the atmosphere. And it's just a place where it's collected and everything like that. If you watch Blind Frog Ranch, they get about the same reactions and stuff. But Blind Frog Ranch is more of they're looking for treasure, right, right, right. But but, but stuff keeps happening to them. So I will I will definitely have to uh, check that out then because yeah I I never even heard of it never even heard of the show. Yeah, it's it's a it's a good look, man. Um, the, it's like I said, it's not UFO. I mean, it's not paranormal. It's more UFO. What they yeah. can't explain. Why? Why this happened? Okay, let's find out why it happened. And yeah. that's right. so. It's it's a little different. So give everybody the scoop, Doc. Where are you at, man? Uh, we're in Arizona. We um our 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 camper actually broke on us. Oh, the shit. slide, yeah, the slide uh, for the kitchen won't come out which we had that problem in Mississippi. The place said that they fixed it, but when we got to Arizona, it quit working, so we had to take it back. Um, we're trying to get it worked out between the two stores. Um, we went to Tombstone yesterday, got to see, you know, all the – they did, like, the OK Corral shootout from the movie, and uh, it was cool to be down in there, man. It's still old Western. Like, all the bars look the same. Uh, we got to see all that. 
uh, we we climbed a four thousand some. It, I think it overall it was six thousand feet, over six thousand feet in the air. Uh, we did a trail that it's actually not even recommended for young kids. But my kids, man, they just shot up this thing, dude. It, it was awesome, man. We're seeing the country. We're traveling around. It's nice. We're stuck in this hotel right now because of the camper. But right. Well, you know, you you guys are living a life. You know, you you got the kids. You're homeschooling the kids, and it's hey. it's it's we we like you said before. We we kind of live similar lives. So we've been considering leaving now and going to Belize, but. Um, you know, our son's having a really good first year in high school with wrestling and soccer, and he's, he's just having a good time. And at first, you know, kids are like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. But, you know, we're afraid that he's going to later on regret it, and that's what we're afraid of. I think, um, especially starting mine young, um, getting out of that routine of the school, having fun is the way to go. But, you know, my kids – they're they're learning they're experiencing they're getting out in life and it was crazy because when we were in big bend texas they have a hot springs they tried to make it back in the day like hot springs arkansas yeah but luckily it was shut down so anybody can go in there we were chilling just putting our feet in this hot spring and there was a, a young guy he was well he was 28 29 uh, been to the military. He he does what we're doing. He travels. And he looked at me. He said, your kids are homeschooled, aren't they? Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, I just looked at him. I'm like, yeah. He said, I can always tell because they can sit here and hold a conversation with right. adults and not even, you know, not have, oh, we need to go. I'm ready to leave. Uh, my yeah. kid, you know, they sat there. They talked to him. They, they told him about what they were doing and what they were seeing and everything. And he's like, dude. He said, it's something you just can't get anywhere else. It's almost so, like a big geography class for them. Yeah, yeah, and a life experience, too. So um, I don't know, man, because I got stuck in the same thing, and my mom has the same mentality. You know, she's like, oh, they should be in school with all their friends, having fun. Da, da. I'm yeah. like, in my head, I'm sitting there going, my kids are stuck in a classroom seven yeah. and a half hours a day. My son's not going to pay attention to them. Like he right. barely pays attention to us, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I understand like when you're on the wrestling team or like for me, I would play football a little bit. I play football halfway through high school. Yeah. Man, you get that camaraderie and it's hard to leave. Yeah. It's, it's hard to give that up. And that's, that's what we're afraid, man. Like we, he would do it. Like I would still have to put my house up for sale and, you know, the economy is just shit and, and interest rates went up. So I don't think it would even sell. But, you know, it's it's like, I don't know. It's tough, man. Yeah, it I is a big it. decision. And, and you guys went through it, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We uh, it took us a, a good month, two months to really be like, yeah, this is what we're going to do. So we were watching some shows uh, from Belize today. And there was this, it's called Secret Home Builders or Secret Beach Home Builders. And the guy's talking about different builds. And like the the topic of the YouTube channel was how much would it cost? So, but his video, it kept saying, he was like, well, it depends. Well, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> you just said, your, your title said you're going to, you know, how much does it cost? So I'm sitting here waiting for like, you know, oh, it's going to run you this amount if you do this and do that. Right. But it's like, well, it all depends. Like, well, that, that that did nothing. That did nothing no, for me. <laughs> so, but how's everybody oh, yeah. doing? They're good. Um, they're getting ready to actually come out of the hotel room. We're going to go grab some breakfast, and then we're going to um, we're going to the Desert Museum, which they have like a live um, a live. I, for, I I can't remember the name. It's something with the birds. What is it called? Uh, Rapture. Right. They have a like a rapture thing where you can ho- they they let you hold your arm out and a bird comes oh, and stands yeah. on you and stuff. Um, and then after that, we're going to I can't I, and this one I definitely can't, but it's it's a recreation of the mountain Jesus went and prayed on before he was crucified. Right. They got a big park over there. We're going to go have lunch there, and then they have a cave system about an hour from us, which we're in Tucson right now that their bats are coming back. So we're going to go this evening and watch the bats come out of the cave and stuff. Nice. 
Yeah, we didn't get to see it at Carlsbad, so we're going to see it here. So you're from North Carolina. You, you've you been to Mississippi, to Texas, to Arizona. I mean, what what's going on, man? How, how is it? What is what is it like? Um, It's good. I tell you, coming, being from North Carolina in the south, southeast, um, it's everything's different. The the vegetation's different. The climate is different. Uh, How about the people? The people are good. Um, it depends where we are. Um, usually, you know, we're, we're tourists, so we want to go see things. We want to go to the parks, and we run into a lot of people traveling like us. Um, as far as around the towns and stuff, we always, we always have good experiences with people. Um, when we're out and about, you know, I, I stay friendly. I'm like, Hey, how's it going? And everything. If some people say, Hey, some people don't, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But I will tell you the traffic coming from being right outside of Charlotte, which we had a lot of traffic, but I get out here. These people have five, six lanes on the highway. And they're all just stopped, like Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, um, here in Arizona, Phoenix, Tucson, all these places, man. The the traffic is so outrageous. Like what when we were going through the southeast and the south, no problems at all. You know, when we left out of Louisiana into Texas, man, it was over. It was yeah. crazy. It just how the amount. You could just drive out now. Ten stopped. I looked at the maps a minute ago. Ten has stopped where we are. So, <laughs> like, what the hell is the holdup, man? Is it just like an overabundance of vehicles on small yeah, roads? I, I think it's definitely got something to do with more people in a smaller, big city. Yeah, if that makes sense. No, uh, I, I, you know, I ninety five up here in Philadelphia has been under construction. It seems like forever. They're putting more. <laughs> lanes in and it's just like i i have to i don't have a choice i have to take that to go to work and if there's one accident one car broken down forget it man forget yeah, it yeah yep that's that's about how it is here yeah but it, it's it's amazing that they are like there's there's really no construction i mean everything's built i hadn't yeah. run into that it's just some the massive amount of people i'd say that's awesome dude you guys and, living a life Border, border, uh, border patrols do whenever we're like when we were in Big Bend, we were in New Mexico, we were in and just yesterday coming from Tombstone, dude, they have like border patrol checkpoints everywhere. It's crazy. Wow. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know. Like, I didn't even know that was a thing. Did you guys ever see that movie? Where the Millers or yes. meet the Millers? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's you guys. <laughs> that was a, without the massive amounts of marijuana. <laughs> that's great man that's great but uh yeah dude I, i'm i dude I, like i said I, I i watch your guy stuff uh you know i've been working a lot of overtime trying to save money for the mortgage from when we you know eventually sell the house well yeah uh, then I, well because right now and this is how crazy it is up here in philadelphia when you retire a buddy of mine i go hunting with has already retired it's been three or four months already and he still hasn't gotten a pension check yet so yeah i mean that's how crazy it here is in philly so now if if that happens with me i gotta put money aside yeah yeah so you guys are heading out now huh yeah they yeah i got the key yeah they coming out the hotel room all right dude well you guys enjoy breakfast tell tell the family i said peace from johnny belize i'll do it my man it was good talking to you brother all right dude take care be safe all right that is my boy Doc Holiday. Doc Holiday uh, is again. He's he's from North Carolina. And um, what's up, Blondie girl? And um, so I just got to get rid of some people that are making stupid jokes on here. So that guy's gone. Anyway, uh, he decided to uh, take life to the road and is living life RVing. Um, of course, there's always going to be bumps on the road, but Doc's my boy. We, him and I met through um, TikTok, actually, and I'm hoping he makes his way up to uh, the New Jersey TikTok club. Where you go to Belize or is that now? I'm I'm moving to Belize at TikTok biker. Um, three years ago, 
you know, when the pandemic started, my wife and I, <clears throat> what's up, Vaxi? Um, my wife and I purchased land on Amber Geese Key, Belize on the island. So uh, that's my screen name. Hey, so also, if you guys are just jumping in, go to my bio, right? Johnny Belize, hit on my YouTube channel and hit subscribe. And also, Doc has a YouTube channel, too, if you guys don't know Doc. Doc Holiday 3 I I I I I jump on his YouTube channel. He's got some amazing videos. Him and his family living the RV life. I do live uh, veteran bike giveaways if you know a vet. I'm a vet. I am a vet. I was uh, in the United States Navy. So I'm a veteran myself. Uh, also a, a 25 year veteran of the Philadelphia Police Department. I retire in three years. Thank you for the follow, Biker Guy. I'm going to send you a follow back. Um, yeah, again, go on my bio. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I got a shitload of uh, cool videos on there. Um, yeah, so I, me and Doc always keep, keep track with each other. Um, I jump on his lives. He jumps on mine. I appreciate all the likes, guys. Much, much appreciate it. And a lot of these lives I'm going to start putting on my, my YouTube channel, too. So if you guys don't get a chance to catch all my lives, go to my YouTube channel. If I felt the live was worthwhile, it'll be posted on my YouTube channel. I've done bike giveaways for years. Decided to do it on TikTok. Very cool. Very cool. Um, yeah, so um, I wasn't going to try to make this too long of a TikTok. Vax Bruner is saying, yo, TikTok biker. Let me see Vax Bruner. See, is, is she one of my followers? I guess not. No. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we're friends. So, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. again, do me a favor. Go on my, my bio here and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you guys are into paranormal investigations, go something, you know. I got I got a couple of videos up. Um, and I do various videos. So... I'm just going to keep it at that for now. I'm going to upload this to my YouTube channel. Yep, yep, yeah. Yeah, always send me, dude. Always, If I'm always on, I'm, I, I don't TikTok live all the time, but I do jump on. Uh, Mrs. Belize is not a, a big TikTok person, so I show her the respect. And uh, I usually TikTok if, if she's out shopping or whatever. So, you know, I want to thank you all guys uh, for joining in. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this up on my YouTube channel. And if you can, don't forget to subscribe to, to uh, Johnny Belize. Uh, let's see what we got here. Which required for whatever. I don't even know what that stuff is. But. Or I can stay on a TikTok with you guys. I don't know. I, I, I ain't got nothing going on anyway. I got to get ready for work soon. It was nice meeting you too, TikTok biker. You know what I think I will call it a day? Thank you. Thank you too for your service if you were a military as well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to throw this up on my YouTube channel for my boy Doc Holiday too. It was fun, you know, asking him some questions and stuff like that. So, all right, everybody. Well, thank you for joining in. Again, do me a, do me a solid and do Doc Holiday a solid. Go on our bios and click on our YouTube link and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So for Johnny Belize and Doc Holiday, we'll catch up with you guys later.